Hello everybody, Assassinator back with another achievement guide. This time it's for a game called Zombie Derby 2. I did a video about Zombie Derby 1 and this video is going to be pretty similar to it. Now this game is available for Windows 10 and Xbox so if you want you can do that stack. It has an MSRP of $4.99. It was released today, June 1st, 2023 and it has 10 overall pretty easy achievements which are going to take people anywhere between I want to say 15 and a half hour depending on I guess how good you actually do and what you actually choose so basically I'm gonna go ahead and get started here so we start off with the tutorial overall it's pretty easy so beating the tutorial will get you an achievement so right trigger to basically just roll a to shoot you want to shoot the big guys they're the ones who slow you down Okay, push X to boost. Left stick, when you're in the air, you can kind of, uh, you can do flips and you can kind of aim with your gun a little bit. So, got that one. Anything that explodes, you want to go ahead and kill. Now, we're going to do this all on the first stage. Which should be pretty easy. And this isn't the first stage. This is the tutorial level. So the next one will be the first stage. We just got to get through here. Which we should almost be done. And here we go. We boosted it. Will we make it? Nah. Don't matter. You still complete the tutorial. Which like I said. It will get you an achievement. And there it goes. It just popped. Okay. The next achievement, we go to uh, level one, will be for getting your very first car. So we're gonna get that for free right now. So by claiming it, we get an achievement. And then uh, if you go ahead and choose machine gun, because we have enough points, we'll be able to get another achievement. I'll wait for that one to finish. All right, let's get this one. We get another achievement right now. All right, should pop. Okay, we still have 365 points right there. So let's go ahead and go into here and go ahead and choose any of these. I'm going to go ahead and choose the handprint. And we should get another achievement. Wait for that one to pop. There we go. Okay, and now with the rest of the money, I'm going to go for gas. If I can't afford it, which I can't. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to go for some wheels because either way it goes, we got to work this thing up all the way in order to complete the very first stage. So we're going to be playing this stage a few times. So I have a little bit of ammo. And again, you only want to shoot things like uh, these explosive things or bit characters because they slow you down a lot. These smaller ones, they don't do so much. Definitely need some more gas. That guy was on flames, or on fire, so he had flames coming out his head. Had to take him out. Okay, that's going to be the end right there. Let me go ahead and see if I can shoot. All right. So you want to come here. You want to make sure to always come back to here so you can go ahead and buy some stuff. So, of course, want to buy gas. Gas is going to be the main thing you want because that's going to get you the furthest. And start another one. And basically, it's kind of a rinse and repeat here. At least for a bit. I can't even get high enough to, uh, to actually uh, do a flip. Because you got to do some flips and you also have to die. So you know what, I'm probably going to die. And you also got to kill the birds. Okay, low on fuel. If I can actually die, I will. Nope, don't seem like I'm going to be able to. Nope, got to make it further in order to die. And you have to die, I believe it's two or three times, but you have to explode. So let's get some more gas. Get us a little further. And some boost. So now we can actually get that bird. Now you have to kill two birds. So, it's going to be at the same spot every time. doesn't have to be a new level. Again, everything can be done on level one. Okay. 
All right, up here is the big one for the bird. Let's see if we can get up high enough. And I'm gonna either make it. There you go. I made a flip. So that's gonna be one of I think three that I need. If I would have exploded, it wouldn't have been a big deal. I would have just cashed out at that time and upgraded my vehicle. I'm just kind of killing whoever right now, just because I know I'm gonna run out of gas. And then I can use my uh, boost, my nitrous, in order to uh, basically do a little bit more. All right, this is gonna be. Oh, here we go. Gotta use my nitrous. Made that one. I should have actually died on that. That would have completed that part, but I wasn't thinking. So if you can, when you at these earlier stages, just kill yourself, explode. However you can, just explode to kind of finish it off because you need to do that twice. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna go with gas again. And then I'm gonna go with uh, more boost. Let's get a little further with boost. Let's start this up. Because I get the boost, I might be able to do my flips. And you have to do three flips in total. I already did the one. Alright, time to kill another bird and see if I can get that flip going. Did not kill the bird. Alright, it's alright. Did get the flip. So one more flip, one more bird. And there you go. Flip backwards, I figure I'm going to kill myself there. So that's one death. Gonna get last thing of gas, and I don't have anything else to purchase another. Again, this is gonna be something that, for the most part, is pretty uh, repetitive. You're just trying to get enough uh, currency in order to buy everything, and that's gonna help you get the probably the hardest achievement, which is the triple star. But again, it's done the exact same way that it was done in the the previous game. So if you saw that one, you know exactly what you need to do. Sorry, got the bird and got the flip. So that should be uh, two more achievements that pop. I know I can make it a little further, so I'm not about to uh, just kill myself yet. The further you make it, the more points you get. More currency. So that's what I'm trying to do. Alright, I'm out of ammo. So now taking these uh, head on. Out of fuel. I'm gonna land. Boom! Kill myself that way. Alright, achievement popped. Which one was this? So it looks like I died twice. Yep. Any more? Will I get the bird one? Or do I have to actually. Okay, here's another. Got the bird. Alright. Flips. That'd be the last one. And there should be the flips. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. So we see I still have three more left, which is the three star, fully upgrading, and a total of a thousand points. So those all should be coming up soon. Let's see, what do I want to get? I think I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with a little bit of this, which is max out that. And let's go with some wheels. All right, not too much more, and we'll have a fully upgraded vehicle. Now I'm hauling.
Now I'm trying to kill each and every one of these just because that's going to be a star if I do happen to make it to the end. That's one of the things to get a star. You don't have to get three stars in one, uh, one drive. You can actually do it in multiple. The thing is you have to complete the stage in order to even obtain uh, the star. Let off the gas whenever you're going over a hill. That's going to help out with uh, conserving gas. Like right now, let off the gas, let it roll down. Kill that guy. If you're using boost, you can also let off the gas. Kill both of them. And them. And them. Alright. Not doing too bad, I feel. I'm almost out of ammo, so not sure if that's gonna end up being something that, that holds me back from winning this. Work my way up that hill. I still got a full tank, basically, of... Um, what's it called? Nitrous. So should hopefully be able to make it. Here we go. Okay, made it to the end. So I should hopefully, if everything's done correctly, I should get one. Yep, there you go. I got two stars. One for killing every single zombie. As you see, 110 out of 110. And one for uh, killing the bird. I also got the achievement for getting 1,000 points. So that's going to come roughly at about the same time for you. The two playthroughs that I've done, it's done that. Okay, go back to level one. And then now, let's go ahead and max out. So max here and max here, which is going to give me another achievement. There we go. Just pop. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. So basically what I need to do now is uh, get a high score. So I think I have to get over 1,000. I got a 1,040 last time, and that was what ended up getting me the higher score. And so what it took to do that was I had to do some flips. I had to at least do two flips. I did three during that one, but I calculated at probably two that I needed to do. Along with killing uh, quite a few of these zombies. So I think right there I had done a flip the last time. But I'm going to have to hold off on that. If not, I'll end up having to do another playthrough. So here, you want to go ahead and use some boost. And do a flip. There we go. So that's going to give me some extra points there. And I got to at least do one more. So I got to remember where that one's at. There we go. End up pulling off another flip. So if I can get one more, I will guarantee get that score, I believe. And then you also have to make it to the end. So it's not just about doing those flips. Have enough ammo to spare. Nope, nope. Ah, I took myself out there. Ah. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that all over again. Got a little bit too much, too anxious with trying to get that one more flip in there. Might have to just see what I do with uh, the two flips. But it also goes by your time, so you don't want to take your time going through here. You want to get what you get and get moving. Hit the bird, get my flip on. So if you get enough uh, boost in there, you should be able to slingshot, your, slingshot yourself up high enough in order to pull that off. Nope, I was about to try one there. Did not want to attempt that.
Here's where I died last time. Didn't try the same mistake. I think that was where I was going to do the other flip. Oh, maybe this one. There we go. Nope. Oh, barely made that flip. Got a double one there. So you have to kind of judge if you're going to take that chance. That might be what's required in order to uh, get through those parts. Still got my ammo, and I'm going to make it through right now. As you see, I'm at 1055. I was at 1040 last time, so I am going to get that triple star, as you can see, which should give me the last achievement that I need. So all in all, this game is not hard at all. It's just going to take a little bit of time. It took me about 15 minutes. And, you know, if you actually watched this video and did it yourself, you might know of ways to kind of cut the corners to save yourself a couple minutes there. But let's go on over here. As you can see, 10 out of 10, 1,000 out of 1,000. So overall, this game is not a bad game. Again, just like I said about the part one, it seems more like it would have been a better fit for a mobile game. But I'm glad they brought it to Xbox because if I want to just kick back and play on my TV, a big screen, I can kind of do this here. It does have a lot of levels here. Um, I know mobile games are somewhat about the same, but you kind of get the better graphics than part one. So that's the thing that this game brings is better graphics because if you saw the first one, you would know, yes, it wasn't that great. But for an indie game at only five bucks, taking you about 15 minutes to get all 1000G, not too bad. And I expect them to actually up this one to a 2000 and 3000, possibly even four and 5000. But we're going to have to wait and see how high they end up going. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. But until next time, Assassinators out.